Hello, Libra. This is Truth Well Told Tarot. I hope you're well. This is your general tarot reading for October 2018 for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. On the left-hand side, we've got the four energies of the month. We have the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords and the Eight of Cups. The overriding energy of the month is the Two of Swords. Top right-hand corner, Love, Romance and Relationships with the Knight of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. Bottom two cards represent career, romance, sorry, career and finances with the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Cups. So let's start with the Two of Swords. This is about not being in a place to make a decision, having two choices, not being able to see your path clearly, having a problem that you don't feel that you can resolve. And there's a there's also a kind of like um theme in this card which is not wanting to deal with a situation. <clears throat> so there's a situation that you've been wanting to deal with Virgo if you've been wanting to deal with Libra, whether it's on the business front or personal front, you're not dealing with it right now. And this card is pretty much saying that you need to. Uh, you need to stop waiting and start moving forward and choosing your path. Because the path is here for you. The swords are your energy and the swords represent truth and clarity. But you're not allowing that energy to help you at the moment, Libra, because you're not looking for your path to, to the solution. Now, the moon on the top right-hand side, it promises um, new starts in some way. And it also talks about trusting your intuition. The fact that you have the answers within you. You have the answers within you to deal with these problems that are arising for you this month. So trust in yourself and look inward. Look inward to yourself for the answers. And then you'll be able to choose what direction you want to go down. So it is a, it is a kind of like card of indecision. But it's also empowering you to make a decision because you know deep down what the answers are. And this will apply to some of you, probably not all of you. Um, let's start with these two cards. So we have the Five of Swords and the Eight of Cups. The Five of Swords talks about a hard-fought battle and it talks about having won, this man has won. Maybe there's been some struggle in your life, some instability that you finally managed to overcome, Libra. But it's been at a cost. It's been at a cost to you personally or professionally. And sometimes there is a question of whether this, this was worth it. You know, do you benefit from this kind of situation? And you can see other people having walked off, having been very hurt, um, having lost their swords to the victor. And it is saying to you, if there are battles to be fought in October, 
is it worth it? Or is it better just to walk away? Because this man walks away, but he's walking away from a current situation that doesn't serve him anymore. And the truth of the matter is that the sword's energy will show you the truths this month. There's quite a few swords. I mean, you've got one, two, three, three swords cards in this reading. So there's a lot of truths that are coming to light this month, Libra. And maybe it's better for you to walk away this month rather than engage in battles that really won't serve you long term. So some situation may well arise where you have to choose. You have to choose whether you want to engage in a struggle or battle. It could be a battle of power. It could be a battle of um, personal. It could be a personal relationship. It could be um, on the emotional front. Whatever this is, there won't really be any clear victor. And if you win, it'll be a massive cost to other people and yourself. So sometimes it is better to walk away. And this, this person in the picture walks away. But he walks away with a, a red cloak on. He walks away with um, a clear mind, a clear purpose. There's intent there. There's a new direction. Maybe this is the choice that you need to make this month. Maybe this is the direction that you need to go because this is all about inspiration and creativity with the red cloak. This is walking towards a brand new future and walking away from a current situation that really doesn't serve you anymore. So it's positive for you, Libra. It's positive steps to, that you're making towards a fresh start in some respects. And I just feel either you've been deceived by somebody, this is a card of deception. Maybe somebody has um, let you down, disappointed you. Um, not been truthful with you, not been honest. And it's put you in a situation where you're thinking, what do I do? What do I do? Do I confront them or do I walk away from the situation? Is there any winner in this process? This could also be about you deceiving yourself, Libra. This could be about self-sabotage. Maybe it is because you know the answers deep down and because you're not being willing to deal with a situation for what it is. You're either walking away from it and not wanting to face it or you're facing it and losing out. So you feel that you're between a rock and a hard place. There's no real winner. But the truth is there for you, Libra. The truth and the path is in front of you because these are the sword's energies. You know which direction you need to go down. Because you have intuition. You have the moon in your card. So even though there's, there's doubt, there's an unwillingness to make a decision because you're not going to win, you do need to make a decision all the same because if somebody has deceived you, you do need to deal with the situation for what it is and then walk away. No matter how hard it might hurt you, And 
and as long as you do it with uh, dealing with the facts, as long as you don't engage in a battle of wills, you'll be successful because you've got the king of pentacles. And this card is all about abundance. It's about stability. It's also about problem solving. And the King of Pentacles has had his ups and downs in life. And now he judges life through wisdom. And this talks about real material success and offer for you, Libra. This is a massive, massive positive card. And you have the power to solve your issues this month. Whatever these issues are, whether it is a card of self-sabotage, whether you do, you do need to make a decision, but make it when you've, you're in a position to see all the facts in front of you. This is a card of detail. It's a card of paying attention to the finer detail to weigh up all the pros and cons of a situation and then act accordingly. And that's what the King of Pentacles is telling you to do. It's saying, act accordingly when you know the full information and that's in front of you. But you do have to act. But only when you've got all the information in front of you can you make a decision. And once you've made a decision, you'll be promised abundance, prosperity, material success. Because it's all about timing. Making these decisions is all about timing and it's having full knowledge of the facts. This is a card of detail. Pentacles cards are very much involved in detail. So I think there's some real positive messages surrounding decision-making there, Libra. Top two cards represent love, romance and relationships. I kind of feel with you that your business relationships are linked to your personal relationships or maybe your business experiences in some way are influencing your personal relationships or vice versa. So I'll read these four together. And the Knight of Pentacles is about prosperity. It's about financial reward. It can be about things being a bit too slow in moving forwards. And maybe you're feeling stuck. Maybe you're feeling stuck in a situation that probably isn't serving you for much longer. And you need to act because you need to get out of this situation of being stuck. And I'm saying that because you've got the hanged man next to you. You're not moving forward. You're not moving backwards. So you need to choose which direction you need to go. And you know deep down what the direction is. And the hanged man energy is very much about, he hangs from the tree of, I think it's the tree of knowledge, and he's waiting for divine inspiration. So the answers come to you in October, Libra, to deal with a tricky situation that you're in. And once you've dealt with it, once you've actually faced and made a decision and faced up to your adversaries or tricky situation, you'll be receiving financial reward. So I feel there's something that... something that's stopping you from being materially successful, whether it's a person, whether it's people, whether it's personal relationships, whether it's business relationships, Something is making you feel stuck. But I kind of feel... I 
it can be of your own making as well. It's false. It's a false representation of you, of where you are at the moment. It's in your head. It can be in your head. Maybe you have been deceived, but now the deception is in your head because you're not moving forward anymore, because you're not dealing with a situation. And you can, you can only walk away when you've dealt with it, when you've dealt with a situation. You can only walk away when you've resolved the issue and you need to confront it. But you've got some really great energies around you that are promising success once you've dealt with this situation, Libra. So you need to kind of deal with this head on. And when you know the full facts in front of you, and when you're comfortable, and it is all about timing. And why do I say timing? Well, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is saying that things are turning in your favour. So where you've been stuck, where you've been stuck, this card is saying that things are turning in your favour and will start moving forward again. And where things have been clouded, covered in mist, You'll start seeing things clearly again. You'll start seeing the way forward, Libra. You'll start being seen moving forward with a new vigour once you've dealt with this situation. And this is under the Pentacles card, which means that once you've dealt with this situation, luck is on your side. But it's all about divine timing and listen to your intuition because you'll know when to deal with this situation. You'll know the right time. Once you have the full knowledge of facts in front of you, then you can deal with it. And you may well have to walk away from certain people that don't serve you anymore. You may well have to accept that there will be certain sacrifices along the way and that's definitely with the hanged man as well. There may well be a certain sacrifice along the way that you need to make but you'll be all the happier for it because there's no point in taking people forward that have a negative influence on your life. You only want to take people forward in your life that influence you positively and that value you that see you for the great people that you are. And this talks about a divine union. Maybe there's a partner that is supporting you through this. And it, basically this union is so powerful. You see the caduceus. It's so powerful that you can overcome any obstacles and find real happiness once you've actually dealt with this situation. You'll find real emotional fulfillment. And it's valuing the other person that values you. So I think it's a beautiful card and success is promised to you. You've got a lot of, you've got two material cards here with the pentacles cards so happiness in the home happiness financially prosperity something is getting in the way and making you feel stuck from achieving that so you need to really think hard see the situation for what it is look at things from a different perspective with the hanged man get your full knowledge your full facts in front of you. Deal with the situation and then walk away from this deception or sabotage or something that's influencing you negatively. And then you have the chance to be happy. Real happiness. Um, it could be a partnership, it could be a new love. It could be a deeper love, having somebody supported you so much through a difficult time. So it's a beautiful reading, Libra. 
But as I say, the the overriding energy is is making a choice, making a choice at the right time, with all the facts in front of you, to achieve happiness and be prosper prosperous as well. I hope this resonated for some of you. If you enjoyed the reading, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope October is an amazing month for you, Libra. I really do. And I look forward to picking this up next month. Thank you.